have you got a license to fly as well? A what? A license. A pilot license. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're starting the video at Birmingham Moore Street Station because directly behind here, there's the ball ring over there look, directly behind this station is where they're doing extensive works to HS2. So what a lovely station eh? Let's go and have a look. We're building for Birmingham. Loads of hoarding up with advertisements got some chaps just making it look pretty here so we're getting closer a little gap in the fence there just see a lot of um, a lot of trucks driving around some diggers in the distance there but we are in a, a zone we're in a CTR which is fine for a DJI Mini 2 We can certainly take that over, take the drone over soon. Trespassers keep out, private property. This land is in possession of HS2. This is a personal protective equipment zone. Risk of injury from construction activities. Trespassers may be subject to civil criminal proceedings. Mm. And here we have it. The map gets you from London to Birmingham in 56 minutes I believe and that's uh, phase one goes all the way up to Manchester and Leeds as we build HS2 it will offer the opportunity for us to undertake the biggest archaeological dig ever mm. 14 billion to the regional economy and support 100,000 jobs. Now that looks interesting. A big pile driving drill. Mmm. I don't know where I'm going yet. I'm just at, um, showing an interest really. Yeah, you can't quite make out uh, what's going on, so let's get the drone out from this point here, clearly on the pedestrian footpath. I'll show you the flight restriction zones that are in place on the screen now and uh, yeah let's go and have a look. So as shown on the screen just there we're in a Birmingham CTR. Now CTRs do not apply to the DJI Mini 2 which is only 249 grams. So we're all good to go. Let's go and have a look then at HS2 behind Birmingham Moore Street Station. So digging quite deep in this area here. Loads and loads of um, scraping of the ground and mounds of earth. But we want to find some tunnels, don't we? Where are these tunnels being dug? Let's get a little bit higher, make sure I can still see the drone. We've got something here. That's the existing track, which goes under that road there and into the station. So 
but really this just looks like um, preparation area. And we've got a, uh, a fence line down there for some reason. And maybe this is where they've filled, filled some access points here with this fresh concrete. So maybe that was uh, some access points previously. So that's where we walked all the way along that fence line around the outer perimeter. And then it all continues down that way. So we might have missed the opening to the tunnel. Well, let's have a further look down this way. We'll keep out of the way of these cranes. We're well above the cranes up. Let's get a little bit higher. There's that big pile driver that we saw, which is not currently being used, it's being stored there. loads of um, mounds of stone and earth and nothing really obvious being constructed how bizarre I know this, the screen is quite small but <laughs> I'm sure I would see a big opening or a big tunnel this down here let's see what this is this looks like eight tanks of something regal tanks might be where they refuel the machinery maybe concrete mixer there doing something so it must be around this area where the action is happening we've got some reinforcements reinforcement bar there let's work out where it's being put zoom in on that section there, see what that is. Two skips. Is that an opening just there? I think we've found an opening at last. Maybe two openings. Right, so let's zoom in then. Let's see if we can work it out. So that was like um, an archaeological dig. There. And that one as well. Looks like they found something uh, of importance and they've left it exposed. But apart from that, we can't really see any openings at all. 
We've looked all the way down there. I suspect it was um, this area here, this fresh concrete area where the action is underneath. Going fully under here. And there'll be some sort of um, access area where they can go down, which I've not found yet. Excuse me, do you know in these archaeological dig areas here, where you've kept them exposed? Yeah. Do you know what they actually found of importance oh, there? No idea, like, they don't tell us anything, they're just security. Oh, I, I thought it really might have made, made news because of um, yeah. any importance, okay. I don't know. The, always the, best to the underground burrowing area was, was where it's been covered over now, isn't it? Yeah. Already. Well, again, like I said, I, I really. I'm sorry. Yeah, I bet you, you've never been uh, above it before looking down. Yeah, that, that's quite interesting actually. We'll just get as high as we can. We'll do a 360 shot from this position. Because there's a lot going on in this area. You've got the bull ring just over there. You've got a lot of construction, a lot of tall high rise uh, buildings being erected. So let's do a 360 for you all to enjoy. Make sure I'm zoomed out. Yeah, I am. And there we go. Back to where we started. So we'll bring the drone back down now. And we'll move on. And it's down. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of tall buildings around here that get the pr privilege of looking out the window every day and seeing it. Oh, yeah, I don't know. But us uh, minions on the ground. No, <laughs> yeah. There'll be other areas um, along the route where you can see more, but the only exposed thing here is the archaeological dig, so... Yeah, yeah all right, I'll carry on. Yeah, yeah, they've left it open... get up there. They've left it open for a reason. I can't even work out where it was now, but I lost my bearings. It's on there somewhere. All right, have a nice day. So there you go, what pleasant security. And a uh, SIA badge uh, license was on display. So yeah, that's how you do it. You know, just uh, keep an eye on them, make sure they're no threat, and just leave them alone if they're doing a lawful activity. Spot on. So we came down the road a little bit to have a look at another HS2 location. And here it looks like they're building a new bridge going across there. Brand spanker, not even been finished yet. All rusty. So yeah, there'll be quite a lot going on in this area if the bridge is only going up. So we'll get the drone up shortly and have a good look around this one. Is that the viewing platform there? Yeah, but we don't let anybody in here. All right, has to be arranged. What about if I take the drone up and have a look from above? I think it's best to get permission from the from who, sorry? Yeah, from the offices. To the office. It's an next gate. Tell you what, just walk up here. Yeah. It's an next gate on your left hand side. They'll let me on. You know, tell them you want to see one of the supervisors and one of the managers. All right. Thanks. There we go. Nice friendly chaps. Said if you just make your inquiry at the right place, you'll get the right information. Makes sense to me. And here we are. Site access. Zvanska. 
not like much is going on. Nobody here. Is there any pedestrian footpaths to follow? Well, it just takes you over there and... Yeah, let's follow them. Sort of goes down here. Just doing some filming. Ooh. HS2. Oh, that's all right. I've got to ask the question then. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the managers are down here, are they? Yeah, they're in the office. Yeah. The office. Do you need a. Uh... Got a visitor in the. No, I'm not arranged. I'm not arranged. Yeah. No, I'm filming yeah. HS2. I'm just yeah. a member of the public. Well, you did, you, did you think I just said I'm from HS2? Yeah, that's what I just thought. Don't take the word for it, man. <laughs> Ask him for some idea or something. No, I've just mentioned to the lads down there yeah. that I'm just coming to take some aerial photography with the drone. And he says, just check with one of the managers. So come up here. Yeah, yeah. Let me call someone out here. Yeah, shall I wait here? Is this bridge completely new? Yeah, yeah, that bridge is new. And does it come over ground here? It's just, I don't know if you've seen from the roadside. I've just been down to Moore Street. Birmingham Moor Street, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. but it's underground there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's underground. Where does it actually come up? I ain't done that bit yet. What do you mean? They need to dig it up from here. Oh, right. So where it goes from underground to overground hasn't come up yet. Yeah, yeah. Ah, right. Where will it be? I want to see that. Yeah, I'll call someone out for you. All right, okay. Do you know to actually get on the viewing platform, do you have to be some sort of special person or...? Well, you have to be conducted on the site, etc. Right, okay. And that has to be arranged in advance, There is an it? open day, I do believe, the 25th of this month. They're bringing kids in and that lot. How do you get on it? Uh, you probably have to go for our management side, but... 25th. Alright. Well, I'm just going... Um, I've just been to Moore Street and I'm just going to at least three more locations. I want to get a, a good picture and I'm going to take the drone up just from over here. And I just said to the lads down there, just don't worry about it if you see the drone up in the air. It just says, go, just go and check with management. No, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. So, do you know from where it comes from underground to overground? What? The, the tunnel. Do you know when it, when it comes up? So it's, at the minute, up to Moore Street, it's underground, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't know about it. that's nothing to do with us. Right, okay. Our job here was literally just to put the new bridge in. Oh, okay, okay. Take, take out the uh, the old viaduct or the arches and the old bridge out and then put a new yeah. single span bridge All right. Out. Well, I'll, um, I'll return back then because yeah. I'm talking to the wrong people. I just wanted to announce my presence, nothing to worry about, only 20 minutes in the air, then I'll move on. But I was really interested on the actual spot where it's coming from under yeah, to over. But said, uh, I'll keep it asking. It won't be here anyway. No, no. Before we get to Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. So. It don't seem I've travelled very far just to here, so it's obviously between here and there. Yeah, cool. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for your time. Oh, okay, thank you. So there you go. We've now set ourselves a mission to find the spot where it comes up. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. So we've come to this location here, nice and high, to help with line of sight. So. Let's get David up and have a look around. So once again, we're still in the Birmingham CTR. Doesn't apply to a DJI Mini 2. So let's get David up and see what we can see. There it is. The new high-speed rail viaduct, would you say? <laughs> Bridge. Be nice and straight. That will. Let's have a look. And there it goes into the distance. So let's see where it comes from then. So it goes over those four tracks. And it comes from this direction. Up there. But what else is happening in this area? We've got something going on over here. And 
and you've also got a lot going on over here. tracks on that bridge would have already been there. Mm. It's a shame we've not got somebody here to tell us a bit about it because to me this looks all existing and not new. Seems to be a lot of works for just a bridge but at this moment in time we're just guessing. I have no idea. train does. So I'm going to leave it here from this location and I'm going to save the battery for the next location. So our mission to find the HS2 tunnel where it comes from underground to overground is just about to be completed. We've tracked it down. We're now in Water Orton and we was wrong on the last uh, video. It was still in a tunnel at that point and the bridge was uh, just unrelated. Just taking some other tracks over. So we got it wrong there, but I do believe over in that direction, <laughs> is where underground becomes overground. So I've got David ready. Let's do this. So we've just got to be careful of these overhead cables. So I'll take it right up there. And then we'll go and have a look around. Get to a nice height. There we are at 30 meters high. The only thing higher than us is that crane over there. So we'll go a little bit higher, get above everything nearby. Let's do this. Let's go and have a look. So it looks a, a lot different now to what Google Maps is showing, as shown on the screen just there. So, as it comes up from the ground, we are seeing good things now. Look how busy the M6s look in the distance. So I do believe it would be just here. well above that crane look but that just looks like pipes to me so is there any other obvious location down here let's just check Is that the uh, the boring? Oh, there's exhausts, aren't they? Why are they made? Are they like uh, exhausts? What did they do? No, they're pumps. Oh, they're pumps. Yeah. What permanent pumps? No, it's them. Is it them you're looking at? Do you know, just here a lot, like chimneys. Yeah, it's them. It's them. Them black things there. No, the black things. The black things are over here somewhere, look. Oh. Yeah, let's show you where I am. Yeah, it'll probably be pump. Look, the black things are all the way down there. Okay. So you're, I'm talking all the way further back. So your thing's gone all the way down yeah, there? Yeah, I'm all the way down there, yeah. 
Okay, um, that's probably um... these. These will be pumps here, won't they? You know this um, this bit of exposed. Oh, them, them pipes are going that way. Yeah, yeah. But no, I'm interested in where it comes out of the ground. So I'm interested in them there. That's where it comes out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you been that's down like that? Enclosure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the enclosure just up the top there. Is it, does it go down on a nice steady incline? Yeah, it should do because it's coming out at Romford. It's gonna come out a couple of miles down the road. Yeah. Well, it goes all the way to Birmingham. Yeah, but I think it's gonna come out. Up, um, Kingsbury. Comes out at Kingsbury from here? I think so, I'm, I'm not sure. And then, and then it travels to town, to Birmingham. You've got a, a third one there, an opening. I think there's two, there's about two, three tunnels going to be quite hard. It's going to come out down there, I think. All right, okay. It's amazing, this is. Yeah. So how long, how far that drone can go with, and you just press a button and it comes back? Yeah, yeah. Do you know, even if, because um, I can still see it, because I've only gone in a line of sight, Yeah then you, you're cool, but you can't start going behind buildings oh, or anything like that. Right, and do you know if you do lose sight of it or it lose signal, it'll just come back, home. back home. Yeah, automatically. But not many people have seen this. So what, you were doing a documentary or something? Yeah, I've been, I've been right in the centre of Birmingham. Then I went to where they're making that new bridge. So you know what's going to happen here? No, go on, tell me. I'm not going to tell her. I might get in trouble. Go on, tell me. Something's going to happen here. And he says he can't tell me because he might get in trouble. <laughs> I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me. So yeah, they just look like um, exposed pipes. Maybe they need access do maintenance to them. See if we can spot anything else interesting happening. It's got me thinking now. Do you know what's going to be happening here? Mm. I think we should solve that mystery. So, we are located just over here where there's a crossing. I'll take you back to the crossing where we're located. Excuse me, are you local? Yeah, quite a bit, yeah. Do you know how the, the tracks are going to come up from underground down here? Yeah, it's all raised here. Oh, it's going to be like, um, like a flyover? Yeah. If you look, if you walk further down, yeah, and then you'll come up to like a little woodland walk, and you'll see in those fields massive raised um, stone gravel. Things. Look, I'm up in the air right now, oh, you and, do. and I've just been over. Oh, would you? I've just been over in this direction, and you can actually see where it's coming out of the ground, just down here. Do you want to see it quickly? Oh, I see. Them tunnels coming out of the ground just there. Oh yeah. That's where the tracks are going to come from underground to overground. Anyway, nice to meet you. Oh, nice oh. Nice Have to a nice day, mate. You've got a licence to fly as well. A what? A licence. A pilot licence. What's one of them? <laughs> yeah, look. Do you know across the road here? This is where you mentioned, isn't it? I think so. I can't even see that clear. My eyes are not good like that. Oh, they're not? There's going to be some sort of flyover that takes it over somewhere. What's that all about? You know, um, your drone, I'm more interested in this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, what am I here for? I'm here to look at HS2, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. So any questions about licences or out, I'm not going to be bothered about those. I just want to know about HS2, aren't I? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm saying at the end of the day, don't camera me. Why? You try, you're trying, to, you're day, trying to say something. Let's get, let's get you day, saying it. No. Oh, you don't want to say it then, do you? No. At the end of the day, I'm just asking. I'm just asking because, um, yeah. You know, if it falls out of the sky, yeah. you know you're liable. If you haven't got a pilot license, come on, and man. hit somebody. Come on, man. No, I've been told by that by the police. If they come now, they can come for skate the thing. If you haven't got one, they won't. They won't. I know what you're saying, but what's all this bit down here? Though? Any anywhere where there's public, you're not you're not supposed to fly them. 
What's all this? This water? I don't know. It's like a load of water, doesn't it? It's got loads of works going on, but it's not actually clear about where the track's going to be. Yeah, that's water. Bloody hell, that's... Even your... Is there a site underwater there across the road? Oh, no, it's gravel, isn't it? You've just prepared a load of ground. It's not water. So come on then, um, as it comes out of the um, the tunnels, well, and it, and it, I, I can't say anything. I'm but just do saying. you know? Do you know though? How long does the drone last in the sky? <laughs> come on, man! Tell me about the rail, no, the high-speed rail. I can't. How long does the drone it, the drone last in the sky? Have you ever seen a drone before? Is this why you're so interested? I've got one. I've you got one. one. What, I is it, know. What, what's the name? Is it DJI? No, it's a cheap one. All oh, right. Have you and got? I, and I tried to fly it, and it just took off in the wind and dropped somewhere. And I picked it back. Has it got up. a camera on it? Yeah. Have you got a license? No, but mine's. I, I, I haven't flown mine in a public space. Where do you fly it then? I, I just tried practicing in the garden, and all of a sudden the wind took it. Right. So you wasn't in control of it, was you? That's what I'm trying to say. It's that light, I only bought it for light. It was under 100 quid. Yeah, this one's about 500 quid. Mm. It's 249 grams. That's how heavy this one is. Not very heavy. Mine's really, really light. Yeah. So come on, just tell me, um, HS2, is it going to stay on the ground or is it going to go on a flyover? It's all online anyway. I just don't want to look. Well, I do want to look, but I've not had a chance to look. I can't say anything. If you don't know already, you should have looked online and then come and then. Yeah. I could have said, yeah. You're right, that's yeah. gonna happen. You can confirm and you, you know what I mean? Once they tell you, you can confirm, can't you? Yeah, I know what you're saying, mate. Don't, I don't want to get you in trouble. But anyway, my battery's getting low now, so I'm gonna bring it in. So, the local residents that walked by and we showed them the, uh, the tunnels, they mentioned that there was something interesting to see up there, but I think I've got enough content on HS2. Oh, we've got security come now, look. They're not going to want to speak to me, are they? I'm just staying outside. But yeah, this guy was perfectly fine. He's had a drone before. He knows what he's talking about. Um, their job is just to keep people out of the sight, isn't it? And help them cross the road as well. It's good to see. So we'll just see what this gentleman says, if anything. And then we'll get gone. He's just arriving, um, unrelated. He's not been sent here just for me. No way. But look at the big machinery that they're using. Papping his horn before he crosses the road. And the security are making sure no pedestrians or no vehicles are gonna collide. Very impressive. And you can hear some burrowing as well. As they're burrowing the hole, the tunnel. I presume anyway. So yeah, that's enough of me waffling on and guessing. I'm gonna leave this one here. That's been HS2. A brief look at the progress so far for the locations that I've found. So if you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.